Chronic stress messes with your hormones, making it hard for your body to release fat. In this video, I'm going to explain how it works using my husband as my show and tell project. And we're also going to share with you two ways that you can test your level of stress hormones at home so that you have a clear picture of how stress is affecting you. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky from drbeckyfitness.com. I'm a college instructor of the science of nutrition. And for those of you who do not know this guy, my husband, Dr. Keith, uh, he has lost uh, 80 pounds over the past year uh, following a very low carb, high fat diet. Uh, if you're interested in his transformation, you can go over to our second YouTube channel, which is Two Fit Docs, and watch his whole progression. It's a very interesting transformation. But what we're going to talk about today is stress and how that affects how that affects you and um, the reason I invited Keith along is because he regularly monitors his blood sugar blood glucose levels so would you explain what the connection is between blood sugar and um, fat loss and then also uh, show people how you test your blood glucose sure so blood sugar everybody's heard of blood sugar uh, the, the level of sugar or glucose in your blood, which comes from eating sugar uh, or eating carbohydrates. All carbohydrates are going to get broken down into glucose. So uh, a higher carbohydrate diet is going to have higher levels of glucose. The problem with that is that glucose in the blood stimulates insulin release, and that insulin is supposed to help that glucose get out of the blood into the cells. Uh, the problem is that when insulin is high, the ability for fat to come out of the fat cells and be burned for energy is completely shut off. So insulin and insulin actually will help shuttle fat in the blood into storage as well. So it's a blocks the burning of fat and it stimulates fat storage at the same time. It's right. a double whammy. Right. So, so you, we always talk about uh, strategies here to keep your blood sugar low. Uh, but really, the only way you're going to know if your blood sugar is low is to test it. So right. why don't you go ahead and share how right. that Right. So I, I, I regularly test my ketone levels and my blood glucose levels because I like to, um, I'm a numbers guy. So I like to have a lot of analytics to look at, a lot of numbers. I test different times a day after I've eaten different things sometimes just mm -hmm. to see what's going on. Uh, and it's really very easy. We use a, a precision extra uh, meter. We got this particular one uh, on Amazon, you might be able to find these in your local drugstore mm -hmm. too. Um, we do have an Amazon uh, affiliate shop that, uh, uh, that we have all these products that we mm -hmm. use yep. listed in there so that you can get the same thing that we use. Um, basically this is very easy to use. You put, uh, this is actually a glucose monitoring strip. They put it in the bottom there, it turns the unit on and now it's ready for just a little drop of blood. And all it does is draws it right onto that strip. And in about five seconds, we will have a number. And the number is 99, which is a good number. Uh, that's a nice low blood glucose number, fasting blood glucose number for me because I've not had any carbs today. Right. So, and, and that's all you, have, all you need to do. You know, like we said, there's um, one of the keys for fat loss is to keep your blood sugar low so that your insulin stays low so that your fat cells are able to release fat. Uh, here on our channel and also on Two Fit Docs, we talk about uh, intermittent fasting. We talk about low carb diets. Those are good ways to keep your blood sugar low. However, if you are under chronic stress, you can be sabotaging those results. And the reason is because when you are under stress, it releases the stress hormone out of your body called cortisol. Uh, now cortisol has a role in increasing your blood sugar and I'll tell you with chronic stress cortisol is is like the domino that starts uh, I always refer to cortisol as, as the bully hormone because when it is present in your blood blood uh, other hormones and other body processes take a back seat uh, including your thyroid hormones which uh, run your metabolism digestion you know these things slow down when cortisol is there but there's a good reason because cortisol's ultimate job is to keep you alive when there is a stress that you are facing. Uh, as far as your body knows, there's a eight foot, you know, black bear behind behind you, ready to ready to pounce on on you. So it is getting you ready for fight or or flight, right? That's so. a big bear. Yes, that is a big bear. Maybe like a 
Maybe that's like a polar bear, but... Uh, which are common around here. So, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Okay, we don't run into them very often, and we don't recommend that you fight them if you do see them, but... Run faster than the person you're with. Yes, exactly. So, and, but to any extent, so whatever stress you are facing, um, the, the way cortisol gets your body ready to fight or flight is it puts uh, sugar into your blood. That is quick energy so you are going to be able to run away from that right. that bear right however the problem is those stress responses were meant to only last for a few moments and then your cortisol levels were to come down your insulin levels were to come down unfortunately that's not how it works in our modern society uh, you you wake up in the morning late because your alarm didn't go off so you're stressed already right then you get in your car and then you're going to be fighting traffic so you're stressed and then you get to work and you find that more work has been piled on what you already weren't thinking you were going to get done for the day. You know, stress, 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 chronic stress, chronically high blood sugar, chronically high insulin, fat burning is chronically turned off. And actually, you had some experience, uh, which is really what prompted us to do this video, um, with noticing that when you were under stress, your blood sugar was up. So why don't you share a little bit on That's that? That's right. We had just recently got back from a trip. So I was, I was out of the office for a few days and then back in trying to get caught up. Uh, and I'm not typically a, anymore a very stressed out person. Uh, but this day things were piling up. The phone was ringing, um, you know, all kinds of stuff coming in the office. And uh, I could tell I was getting a little stressed. Now, I'm, I also, like I said, I monitor my ketones. And, and my blood glucose. Typically my ketones are up, my glucose is down, and that's the way that has to work. Mm -hmm. um, this day I checked my ketones and my ketones were good, um, and I checked my blood glucose, and my blood glucose was high. Mm -hmm. I was at like 130 that day. And I, I couldn't, and they shouldn't really coexist at the same point in time. And the only thing that I could, could attribute that to is it, I must have been stressed and having that kind of stress response that day. Yeah. So it's, so it's interesting. So you can use um, a, a simple little blood glucose meter uh, to kind of give yourself an indirect reading or understanding of what's going on in, in, your, in your body. Um, why was your glucose up? Was it stress? Well, it certainly could have been. And so it, if anything, it's, it's kind of like, what, what did you call it? The biofeedback. Like bio biofeedback. Yeah. Like, uh, so if anything, you can use it as a reminder that it, you need to relax because you're doing your, your body some harm. Chill out. Yeah, chill out. So, so that is um, utilizing a, a blood glucose meter, definitely a, a more indirect way to test your stress, but there's also a direct way to test your cortisol levels in your home, uh, no doctor's visit necessary, and that is utilizing a diurnal cortisol saliva test. Uh, you had done one of these and mm -hmm. so why don't I turn it over to you. Why don't you first of all explain what that means and then how you did that test. Okay. I can't spell diurnal mm -hmm. but the way it works is you're taking, you're testing yourself at different points in the day and that's what diurnal means. Uh, and this is a saliva test. Uh, so you get a package, uh, the testing kit comes, it's got Four, I think four points, four or five points. Um, you get it. You get uh, the clear little plastic containers, and you just you have to spit in them, and you have to fill them up quite a bit with spit. It's a right. lot of spit. Which is why we don't have it to show you because Keith already spit in his. Yeah, kit, it so. it is it is a little disgusting, but it um, it's a lot of spit. You're not supposed to drink right before you do the test because it'll dilute everything. So you need to drink a lot in between the testing period so that you've got. You're not dehydrated and you've got enough saliva to do it. But, it, you know, it's pretty easy. You spit in it. It's a little funnel. makes it go in there. It doesn't make a mess. You cap them. You mark them. And you send them in in the kit. It's all postage paid. And you get a nice report back in a pretty yeah. short period of time. Yeah, just like a week or maybe maybe like two. I don't know. Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Um, you, get a, you get a little uh, report back. So here is here's the actual test results that Keith... Um, had from his saliva test now, and now I, you did this yeah, yeah I should say that this this test was done um, months prior to my uh, you know going on uh, my keto and losing all the weight mm -hmm. uh, so and I was right. I was not a happy camper when we were doing this that's the reason yeah. we did the test yes yeah yeah so we had definite health concerns oh, yeah. a lot of, at, a lot at of, that time a lot of fatigue a lot of yeah you know, and that yeah. shows and that showed up on your, your sure report did. yeah so what we see here from the report that he got back was that 
um, his cortisol level was low in, in the morning. And then it has this little graph uh, down here as well that says, shows the same information. And what that means, um, you, your cortisol goes um, in a normal pattern throughout the day. So cortisol is, is naturally high in the mornings because that's what wakes you up and gets you ready for your day. But then it gradually goes down as the day goes on so that you can sleep at night. At least that's how it's supposed to work. Well, Keith's was low in the morning. So you go, uh oh, okay, now what does that mean? Well, then you turn here to the last page and it just has a nice little uh, summary written in very plain language. So you don't have to know medical terms. You don't have to be a scientist to read this. Um, that says that when you have low uh, morning cortisol levels, it means that you have adrenal exhaustion, which right. made sense at the time when you'd had this test done. And then it lists uh, symptoms of that, fatigue, um, cold uh, extremities, sugar cravings right. are, are a symptom of that. And then it also gives you recommendations of what you can do uh, from adequate sleep to different diet things to even uh, different herbal supplements and things like that. So it's a nice way for you to better understand your body, what's going on. And I should say that that uh, we bought that uh, cortisol saliva test off of Amazon. So you can get both of these on Amazon. We have them both on our uh, Amazon affiliate shop. And, and I will say it is an affiliate shop. Uh, so in terms of full disclosure, we do get a small compensation back from Amazon uh, if you do go there and purchase something. But we do utilize these these products that we that we have there. Um, and um, so, so that is uh, just, uh, an indirect and a direct way for you to get a little bit more information about your body uh, so that you can can uh, you know reach your goals with a little bit more accuracy and understanding yep. so all right well hey thanks for watching we hope that this has been helpful to you and uh, please subscribe and we will be back next week at least I will with, I'll see you sometime <laughs> with an, another video to help you reach your goals have a good week